Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tis I, the Jabberin' Magpie, bringing you more Shadowrun Dragonfall. And yet another text-heavy uh, episode last time. Uh, but we find out there was a incredibly deadly bioweapon that somehow uses radioactive isotopes mixed with antibodies. Fuck knows how that works. Um, which essentially makes you waste away into Pepe Mache by draining all your muscle density. And apparently it's walked uh, down the foyish finger. And she's also captured herself a ass ton of it from a train car. It's aptly named Doom. Let's see what Blitz is up to. Mags, I'd offer you a smoke, but that was my last one. How's the whole Emil situation worked out? Turn up anything new? Yeah, well, sort of. It's mostly strip speculation, truth be told. So, what's the deal? Is she working with the Aziz or what? No, I don't think so, but I do have a new lead. After our talk, I went wading into all the S technology matrix hubs that I could find. Nothing too deep. Don't worry. I didn't want to set off any alarm bells, but I have a hunch that if I poked around long enough, I'd find something that might lead me to a meal. And sure enough, I did. A message from the genuine article itself. Nicely done. Hey, thanks, Chief. Always good to get a little recognition for my work. Blitz's smile dies away. He turns his eyes down to the floor. I can, uh, I can tell you what a note said if you want. He presses forward without waiting for a response. It said, and I quote, Lay off, Blitz. I told you to leave me alone. You've shown admirable self-control over the past year. Please don't give up on it now. I'll be back when I can, if I can. Until then, keep away from me for both our sakes. So I found her again, and she wants nothing to do with me again. No hot explanations, no apologies, just a verbal pass on the head. I've showed admirable self-control. Really? She makes it sound like I'm a toddler or something. Yeah, well, you're not exactly the most friggin' organised or logical of people, Blitz. So, did you lay off like the message said? Hell no, I wasn't going to stand for that. Where does she get off stealing from me and then acting like it was my fault? I tried to trace the message like any d good Decker would. And did you succeed? No, she's good, Max. Better than I thought she was. I couldn't trace a damn thing. I could keep digging, though. I mean, if she noticed me doing it before, I must have been close. Now, before you say anything, I was more discreet this time. I can be subtle if I have to. Nobody noticed what I was doing, and I did find another clue. I hesitate to ask. That's okay, I'll tell you anyway. I found a connection between Emil and Seda Krupp. Oh, goody, the world's biggest corporation owned by a dragon. Fuck's sake. So do you think she works for SK then? That she stole the encrypted data from you to give it to them? Well maybe, I don't know, it's confusing. I was also able to track down some message fragments connecting her to the shock of Ellen Writer. So maybe she was a Seder Croup mole, and she got close to me so that she could, I don't know, so she could prof profit from my death king expertise. Maybe she wanted me not to steal that data, she was using reverse psychology, that's gotta be it. It, she must have wanted me to take it. But then again, maybe she's with a shock and villain writer and she's screwing over both the Aziz and SK. If that's the case, then maybe she was with me because she genuinely wanted to be. He pauses for a moment, considering. Then all at once he seems to perk up, his chest perf puffs out and he nods once decisively. In either case, I should make an effort to find her. I mean, she's playing a dangerous game, whether she's with SK or the shock and villain writer. Maybe she's got herself in too deep, she just needs help. I mean, why else would she send me such a cryptic message? Uh, I don't know what to do. Fuck it, messenger. What if she needs you? You're right, of course, you're absolutely right. Besides, it's not like she can send a distress call. Her communication's probably being monitored. I'll bet she's spent a whole past year waiting for me to come riding to the rescue. I fucking doubt that, Blitz.
Get set, Chief. You're about to witness an event. When my gung-ho personality and legendary skills come together, the whole world stops to take notice. Ugh. On second thought, maybe you shouldn't do this. Emile's note was pretty specific. Yeah, but that's what she said. But I'll bet she didn't mean it. She'll probably just doesn't want to worry me, or maybe she's under duress. I mean, you gotta agree, it's at least worth checking out. Oh, fuck it, go after her. Oh, it's just starting the whole thing over again. Fuck it. You won't have to wait long, I know just a place to hit. The same as technology data node that I stole the information from in the first place. I already know what can get me past security, and my gut tells me I'll find a meal there. Thanks for the encouragement, Chief. I knew that this was the right thing to do, of course, but you've helped me quiet my lingering doubts I might have had. And now if you'll excuse me, I've got a damsel in distress to rescue. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Ah, uh, she's probably going to die. Fuck it. Right, now we actually have some money. We can buy some extra equipment. Let me see what you've got. Do you have... A friggin' S-Class Mr. Tomness? No, you don't. You've only got the street links. Hmm. Alright, let's see if Escabel's got anything, or Gunnar. In fact, I can't use anything gunnar has got anyway. Hmm, I need to spend karma. Either way. Um, increased my health so I wouldn't die as much. Can't even equip S-Class drones at the minute. 1 AP bonus for uh, my drones. Oh, for God's sakes. There we go. There we go. And I'll boost my charisma. There's a local tramp. He was the one who did the DVDs for me, so he might know something. No, he's uh, Trampy McGee has nothing to say. Triage Cyber Clinic. Okay, let's have a look what that free cyberware that they were offering was. When Trigon gained 1 AP, but it take an additional 2 damage from attacks. No, I can't afford that. Hmm. That's my laser designator. That's my tailored pheromones. Hmm. What can I stick in my right arm? My head. Ooh, I can swap my data jack. Hmm. Now I've already got muscle augmentation, so I'll swap my data jack. For in my head. And I will stick in. The next wave of Encephalon, increasing my intelligence massively. What use that is, I don't fucking know. And I'll go for enhanced articulation. And I'm bankrupt.
Again. Pretty much becoming Adam Jensen. Right, to the vine keller where we will meet Iger's contact. Let's go shoot a Russian. Right, Iger, what's your contact look like? It's not Lucky Strike, is it? Bannock. The dwarf has a distinctly Eurasian appearance. He peers up at Iger through almond shaped eyes. The rest of his broad face is dominated by strong Slavic features. He nods to himself and puts down his mug of soy calf. On the edge of the table, a plate of day-old coot cools as in a haze of cigarette smoke. Hoi, Iger. Been a long time. He taps a thumb on the rim of his coffee cup. Keep him busy? You could say that. Max, this is Bannock. He's a friend. The dwarf scoffs. Don't know if I'd go that far. Nothing personal, you understand? If I were to start like, keeping friends, I might call you on. But in my experience, friendship and obligation go hand in hand. A solitary life is cleaner. Professional acquaintance, then. Better. Now let's get down to business, shall we? Let's. We need intel on the engineer. Where he's staying, who he's been working for, and how long has he been in Shatternest. Whatever you've got, we want it. He spears a hunk of pie with his fork and crams it into his mouth and starts to chew. A moment later, he shrugs. I've had worse, and of course I'll give you what I can, but I don't know much. I can point you into the right direction, that's all. Just tell us what you can, we'll handle the heavy lifting. The dwarf nods, then fumbles his jacket pocket for something. A moment later he produces a weathered paper map and spreads it on the table. Alright, what you're looking at is the northwest quadrant of Shatternest. This is gang territory, all of it. These days the whole Kiet is being held by a Rambok. Uh, not these assholes again. Afraid so, and by all accounts they've gotten worse recently. The guy that filled the power vacuum when the last leader bit it is a real piece of work. He stabs a meaty finger down on a faded silhouette of a building. Anyway, this warehouse right here is around Bok HQ, and that's where the engineer is staying. Wonderful. If he's staying there, he must be arranging for some sort of deal with them. That'd be a safe bet. And they haven't pulled the guns on him yet, so it's safe to, safe to assume that the negotiation's going well. I'm sure what I don't have to tell you this, but the last thing that we need is an alliance between some foreign syndicate and Rambok. No good could come of that. Can't argue with that. Now, I can't tell you who the engineer is working for, but you'll have to ask him yourself about that. But what I can do is make it easier for you to have him sit down with you. Bannock reaches under the table and brings up a canvas bag. He places it in front of you and pushes it forward. Don't open that. It's in here. There are people in this room who kill for what, kill you for what's in that bag. You gonna tell us or do we have to guess? He lowers his voice to a soft whisper. You won't we have to lean in to hear him clearly. What you're going to find in there is a gadget about the size of a water pistol. It has a rubberized grip and a hair trigger, and it's good for one shot. Is it a stun gun? No. Well, not really. For your purposes, you might as well think of it as one, though. The object in question is a cyberware deactivator. I had it shipped here at great personal expense from a supermax prison in UCS UCAS. The warden owed me a favour. Very nice, Bannock. This should make this easy. Not that easy. Possible. I wouldn't be giving it to you if the job could be done without it. The engineer is rocking a delta grade move by the wire system. Unless you can shut him down, there's no way in hell you're going to catch him. And if we do shut it down, he'll be forced into a state of, of permanent sh seizure. Only until he gets the thing up and running again. Deactivated isn't isn't the same thing as broken. Until then, his life will be a living hell, but I can think of worse things to use as a bargaining chip. Remember, you need to know who he works for. The more you can take out of him take him out of his comfort zone, the better. Sounds like we have a plan. Sounds that way. 
Thanks, Bannock. We'll let you know how things work out. Don't bother. I'll be watching. Eh, creepy. Right. Oh, a lovely trip on the U-Barn. That's how you tour Berlin. It's a good job all these missions are in fairly easy access areas. And that somehow the U-Barn is still actually a functioning entity. All aboard! Where are the Eiger? Cyberware deactivator, I've got my nade launcher and my shitty pistol. I've got no med kits, shit. Oh, fuck it. How bad could it be? Brave last words. The engineer, Shatternest, the kiet's next door to the Kreutz Bazaar. And an object lesson in anarchy gone wrong. Violent gangs rule the street here, trading territory to the roar of gunfire. The streets are a war zone. As dangerous as Shatternest already is, it could be worse. The gangs are vicious but disorganised. They pose little risk to their neighbour. With little more than a makeshift barricade and a few volunteers, the Kreutz Bazaar has successfully insulated itself against the chaos in neighbouring Keats. The engineer could change all that. He has to be stopped, and the F-State as a whole needs to be alerted to what his clients are trying to do. It's up to you and I to make sure that happens. Alright. Let's make sure the Russian Mafia doesn't find its way into our lovely kits. I truly have an anus ton full of drugs. What was that? I can't remember if that's a better shotgun or not. No, it's exactly the same. That slapdash pistol still hasn't come in use. I thought it'd be one of those silly items where you trade it off or you sell it for millions of new yen. As you near the edge of the Kreutz Bazaar, the familiar piss and asphalt stench of Shatterness crawls into your nostrils and sticks in the back of your throat. The dilapidated husks of burnt out buildings loom above you, giving the place an air of menace. I was hoping I'd put this place behind me after the humanist run. Yeah, I'm with you there. The funny thing is, a syndicate presence might actually help Shatterness, in the short term at least. They clean up the streets if nothing else. Don't tell me you're changing your mind. Not for a second. A syndicate, any syndicate in Shatternest would be a disaster for Kreutz Bazaar. Let the people on the other side of the gate deal with their problems. I won't allow my home to be endangered for their sake. Neighbourly. I like that. It doesn't look too incredibly bad. You know, you've got nice neoclassical Berlin architecture. Oh, here's the local gatekeeper. You again. Well, you ignored my warning last time and you ain't dead, so I guess you can handle yourself. Let them through, Sergei. Oh yeah, he was alright last time. I remember we were beating up the humanist poly club here. God, it's fun to beat up racists. Ah, we have an item. More drugs. Ram box there. What's on the other side was probably something good over here as well. So that's a gang nest. This is blocked off though, there's a cardboard box I can use. Search the box. 
on a certified cred stick beneath the pillow. I'm not taking a homeless person's cred stick. Like, that is just mean. Like, I know I'm a mercenary, but that's just completely arseholy. Okay, so we're around the, uh... What are you? Completely apathetic to my presence, we'll take that. Armed enemies, you are... Pretty nonplussed. Okay, we've got Rambok down there. Who are you? Man. What do you want? I'm new in town, what's hot around here? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. All there is to do in Shatness is get your ass beat by gangs until you decide to join one. Which gang are you in? I'm still in the former camp. I've heard that the rotten about Rambok do to haze new members. I'm te I'll take getting pushed around every once in a while over that. Uh, any information? I bet you are. I've seen your type before. You're probably looking for something. Someone or looking for something that's been stolen. I've waved Rambok won't be happy about you sticking your nose in Shatter Nest. All right, I'm out of here, Mr. Friendly. Asshole. What about the lady here? I got pots and pans. You need pots and pans? No, but some info would be nice. You seen any new friends of Rambok show up lately? You sh yeah, sure I have. What's it to you? I'll make things very bad for Rambok once I know who the friend, where the friend is staying. She leans in for a whisper. But just down the street, in the warehouse with the grass in front of it, new guy showed up a few days ago. Seems like a bigwig. They've been moving pro product through there ever since. Any kind of product? That'll cost extra, sweetie. Is it important? 25 new yen. Drugs, guns, the usual. Seems like more drugs than guns lately. So maybe things will pick up around here. Thanks. No problem, honey. I got the best deals on pots and pans this side of Spandau. I will remember that if I have a pot or pan related quest. Which you never know in the world of Shadowrun. Okay, down the street, thingy with grass in front of it. That looks like it was grass once upon a time. More sections of the Berlin Wall. Yeah, motorcycle. What can we do with this? Engine's still warm. Colours on the tail mark its Rambok property. Hmm. I don't quite have the decking for that. Can I get the decking for that? No. Got any ideas, Iger? Looks secure. I might be able to blast it open with a controlled explosive, but I'll spook anyone inside. Probably best if we just find the code. Where are we gonna get a code? There are Rambok dudes down there, so we can just beat it out of them. Ah oh, yeah, warehouse you told me about is locked up with a key code pal. Know anything about that? I'll be doing you a favour once I get that code, you know. Not this time, pay up and no deal. Ugh, 500 new yen. Fine. The code is 292 something. I don't know the last number. That'll get you most of the way, though. Enjoy. You don't know the whole thing? Damn it. I'm not going near that place. Oh, you bitch. Gave me three cores of goddamn code. Alright, let's brute force it. Hopefully there isn't a uh, 
massive frigging lock on the door. That'll go off if I get like three tries on. Or something. So... Two, nine... Two, zero? No, two, nine, two, one. Two, nine, two, two. Two, nine, two, three. Two, nine, two, four. Two, nine, two, four. Doesn't seem to have set off any alarms, getting it wrong several times. Oh no, wait, they know we're here. Oh fuck me, he's bigger than I thought he was. Um, I will get cover there. And activate Mr. Tumnus. Who will come over here, yonder. And hurt this person. We'll take that. 70% chance to hit on the Rambok Condra. Finish them off. Jesus, that gunshot is loud. I love it. Oh, fucker. Come on, I'm in cover. We'll just take some pistol pot shots. Headshot. Oh. He's down now. Okay, the entrance would appear to be there. So, Tumnus, you move over there, getting some cover. Fucker's making a break for it. You get off my robot. Absolute asshole. Steady shot. Ah, uh, well, we have 66 to hit regularly. And flank. Come on, Thomas. Damn it. I go reload, move up. Finish that fucker off. Good work. Come on, people. The clock is not our friend right now. Right, we'll move up and we'll breach through here. Fortunately, having me in position isn't gonna really do an enormous amount to help. Right, Tumnus move here for cover. And then shoot the lieutenant in the back of the... Oh, never mind. Dead eye shot. Piercing free armor. Oh, Ooh, that hurt. Iger does not like magic. We'll move up here behind this uh, rather lovely, ch rather lovely chair. We'll use aimed shot on the lieutenant. <laughs> Doing only eight frickin' damage. Come on, Tumnus. Oh dear, I am hurting now. 
Right, I go medikit on yourself. God! Fucking damn it. Hurt him. No, my robot. Yes, that's what we want. Just not. Exposed to the elements. We'll take that. And um, Tumnus, you're gonna have to bail out, mate. Get out of there. <laughs> okay. Patch up, Tumnus. I got move in. Just absolutely fucking rip through this fucker. Point blank range. Should have done that to start off with. You go up here, try and hit him in the head. Excellent. Uh, shotgun. <laughs> Still better range and accuracy. Good, good, that's going well. Hmm. Okay, we'll move to the door here. We'll end this turn. And we'll go there, and I do believe this is a good place to save and leave right now, folks, as we've hit over our usual half an hour. Do hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. I know I certainly did. Do send me a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will hopefully bring you more of this. For now, tatty bye!